Welcome back to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. I am Mistress Miriam, and I'm here with Violet Housethor. And you just heard Darker Days, The Gathering Blue, and Blindside Duster, Luminous Crush. Where are we starting, Violet? Let's start with Luminous Crush. They're a band out of Jamaica, Vermont, sort of southern Vermont area, nearish to Brattleboro. They describe their sound as, and I quote... Original bluegrass, outlaw country, post-punk, psychedelic fusion, indie, dream pop, searing rock metal, and whatnot. And, you know, how else are you going to describe it, really? You, you can have, and you can have sprinkles on it or not. Oh, yeah, the, with all the <laughs> toppings. With all the toppings. I think that, um, you like know. Like, if what? I had to pare it down, it's sort of psychedelic but why bother paring it down? I, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's interesting because I... Uh, I listened to it and I said, you know what? Don't approach this from a theoretical point of view. Let this kind of wash over you. And um, which it did, because I, I think when you're, you're having so much genre, you're having all this delicious sound and um, that you, you know, you need to kind of let go of the brain, let in the heart and the gut. Uh, yeah. But uh, really, and they talk about the goddess. <laughs> I'm all about the goddess. It's really just two people for the majority of it, though. They did bring a bassist on for this song. Uh, Laura M- Molinelli and Ben Campbell do basically everything on this. Ben is someone we've actually played before. He's a yeah. really brilliant yeah. musician doing a lot of different music. He produces uh, for Luminous Crush as well as playing a lot of the instruments. So really, really cool, really wild music that just hits me in the right place. Yeah. It's yeah. uh, very impressive. And then uh, The Gathering Blue, they're out of New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, this is off their new album, Anywhere But Here, which came out uh, just last month, actually. A lot of new music in this show. Trust me on that. Uh, and that's great. I, I love when, you know, we're finding new things that that we've never played before. You know, people maybe have never heard before. Yeah. Or people in New Haven are very familiar with this band. And it's new and exciting to us. And yeah. this song is definitely exciting. Yeah, it hits me right in that like 70s psychedelic zone. I, I love the backing vocals on this. <laughs> in all of what it is, it's it's got a catchy sort of um, tune to it, you know. Uh, yeah, it definitely hits right in that right in that space where it's like, oh, I know where this music comes from. And it's playing in that tradition, but not bound to that tradition. Sort yeah. of playing around in the shallow end of it and saying, hey, isn't this neat? Let's try some stuff. It's cool. Sounds like there's like a robot in the, in the song. Yeah, there's some really cool vocal effects in it. I love the production of it. It is so cool. It, it, and this is where it seems to, you know, we're seeing so much local music lately. You know, the production value is huge. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's it's part of it's not just, okay, we're, we're mastering this to sound good. It's mastering. It is part of the artistry of the song. Yeah. That's a lot of uh, how the modern music scene in general is working. Production is as much an instrument as anything else. And this helps show it, which is always cool for me. It is true. It's cool for me too. We have so much in common. (laughs) So what's next? We're going to be delving into some slightly harder rock and metal, and pop punk, and stuff like that, with some more intense guitars, you know? Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. We're going to be starting things off with a slightly belated holiday tune of sorts, uh, Chosen Family by Evelyn Gray. Mm -hmm. 